Hey pilots, welcome to the channel and welcome as always to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Today we're back at Knock Airport to go through our second episode of the Garmin G1000 avionics system. Today we're going to be talking about the autopilot. So hop into your favorite G1000 plane and we're going to get started. So we are here at Knock Airport, we're going to be using the exact same flight plan as our previous video. Um, which was creating the IF4 flight plan. So I'm not going to go through that today. Uh, you'll have to go back and look at that previous video. But uh, we're in the exact same surroundings, just uh, the exact same flight plan. We're just going through something different today. So obviously the first thing we need to do is understand what all the buttons do. So we're going to be using these 12 buttons here. Uh, well, not all 12, but these are all related to the autopilot. This heading knob and this knob stacked in a knob for your altitude. So the first knob is heading. So the heading controls uh, your heading bug of the plane. So if you want to follow a heading rather than your route, you see this little blue um, kind of notch here. If I move my heading uh, like knob, it will actually move that notch. And we can see the exact, um, read it, uh, the exact course that it will be showing up here in the HDG kind of readout here. Um, so let's say if we wanted to turn to a heading of 250, we'd keep on turning, turning, turning. It's about 300 there. We'll keep going until over here it reads 250. If you want to be completely exact, 250. Um, next thing is autopilot. Toggles the autopilot on and off. Fairly fast, self explanatory. Flight director, this is FD or flight director. Uh, this will tell you where the plane is planning to go with the autopilot. Um, so if I turn that on, you see this magenta arrow comes up here beside where our nose is facing. And this will move independent of where our nose is going because it will be telling us where the plane is going to be turning and where it's going to be going, both in pitch and in row. Uh, heading select is obviously going to correspond with our heading knob. And this will mean uh, that the uh, autopilot should follow our heading that we selected. ALT is altitude hold mode. So if you have an altitude but you've been told to hold by your traffic control or if you just want to hold it, uh, hold your altitude where you're at, you hit press that button and it will bring down your vertical speed to zero. Nav mode will control our la navigation laterally. What does laterally mean? It means that we'll be going left and right. So basically following our route. VNAV will be following our vertical navigation, or up and down, so it's going to control our altitudes and stuff like that. I don't usually use VNAV, uh, so I usually use vertical speed and flight level change, which I'll actually get to in a second. Uh, so I won't really be covering this button here today. Next up, we have approach mode. So the approach mode is going to be used if you're flying an ILS approach, um, and this will uh, tell the autopilot to follow our glide slope, both our localizer and our glide slope, obviously. Uh, back course is a revert. It's like a back course ILS. Um, I actually have never used that feature. There's very few airports that actually use this feature that really uses this approach. So it's not a button you'll be using frequently, and I won't be covering it today. Uh, VS means vertical speed, and it corresponds to these two knobs here. So when you click the vertical speed button, you'll be hitting nose up or nose down, and this will control the pitch of your nose relative to the horizon in hundreds of feet per minute. So click vertical speed. You can see there's a little notch that comes up here. And if we get nose up, nose up. And you can see this little small blue indicator here of what we're at right now. So we're at 300. Keep on watching that. 400, 500. We can go up for as long as we can. We can also go down again. And of uh, course, we can also descend into the minus figures. The one thing you're going to have to be careful about with vertical speed is that it's always going to try and keep that uh, vertical speed. So if you start losing speed, like airspeed, well, the vertical speed won't do anything about it until it reaches its target altitude. So you either have to manage your throttle very well, which sometimes isn't really manageable with climbing, uh, or you have to just manage your vertical speed and change it if your speed is going too low or to level off a bit and get more power. FLC is flight level change. Personally, I find this a lot better. And flight level change um, can be used when you're ascending. And it will basically, if we uh, go up to an altitude here, it will climb for us and it will then level out and everything like that. Basically does everything that vertical speed does, but I find it's a lot better for ascending. 
Finally, we've got altitude, which is, uh, it's like, so if you watched my previous video, we'd be using this knob, and we remember that we have this big knob here for changing the characters that we're on, and they serve to control our letters. This time, the big knob's going to control our thousands of feet, and the small knob's going to um, change our hundreds of feet. So if we look over here at this little altitude bug here, if we go one big knob, we go to 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. If we scroll back, 4,000, 3,000, 2,000, 1,000. Um, likewise, you can use your hundreds knob. So we do 1,000, 1,100, 1,200, 1,300, 1,400, 1,500, so on and so forth. Um, so without further ado, I think we're going to get into the air. So what we want to make sure uh, to do before we actually start going into the clouds. There aren't any clouds there, but nevertheless... Um, we want to check that this compass here says GPS. We've got arrow pointing towards where our flight plan's going. And we can verify that by going over here. And we can see we're following the correct direction of our flight plan. But the GPS is important because that means that we'll be following our flight plan. Uh, there's a couple of different modes, VOR1 and VOR2. But we need to have GPS in order for the plane to follow our flight plan that we have keyed in. Um, and after that, we need to use our AP button when we get into the air. The flight director will automatically turn on. And then we hit nav and flight level change. So I'm going to go up to 1500 feet here, just very low altitude to start out with. Um, but you can choose whatever altitude you want or whatever uh, ATC clears you to go up to in your IFR clearance. So without further ado, we'll uh, bring up our throttle to max. We let it stabilize up there. We're going to release the parking brake. And we want to rotate here in about 55 knots or over. So let's just keep on the power. Try and maintain center line as best you can. Airspeed is alive. 50 knots. There's 55. Can start pulling back on the yoke. And we're up into the air. So I usually like to get a bit of altitude before you start. Just get a bit of hand flying in. And I think now we can start to engage our autopilot. So if we level out a bit, it's just good practice to level out. Our flight director has actually already come up. But we're going to engage our autopilot. Now, it's not going to do anything right now. It's just going to have us leveled out. We have to hit nav and flight level change. And we should start... Moving up. See our flight director is moving up. Just like I told you it would. We can bring it for flaps or whatever. We can see our ascending at a speed of 750. We're keeping on going up. We're at about 1,000 feet now. Um, and we're at about, a, I'd say maybe about a, I don't know, maybe a 4 degree angle off the horizon. It could go up to your 10 positive climb uh, sometimes. Uh, make sure your flaps are up and everything like that. We're not going to see any sort of um, changes in our um, turning yet because we haven't actually gotten to our first bank. Uh, we'll just contact ATC here. We have to acknowledge their handoff. And uh, we can see we're approaching 15, 1,500 feet, should I say. Um, 1,500 feet here. You can see our vertical speed is starting to actually go down. It's starting to creep down. 350, 300. Um, as we start getting closer to our target altitude. So now we can see we're almost here at a stop with our vertical speed. AC. And we'll just slowly creep up there for the last couple of uh, feet. Um, so now I'm going to show you how the, um, how the vertical speed works. So if we bring up our altitude just to 2,000 feet, engage vertical speed, nose up, 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 400. We're going to do 500 feet per minute here. Remember, we really want to watch our um, airspeed here um, because we don't want to fall out of the sky. That's the best way I can put it. So we can see we're climbing at about 500 feet per minute at that kind of rate, but we can go up to whatever we want. We come to 1,000 feet here, but as I said, bear in mind, you do not want to go up too high because uh, you will stall. Uh, so I think we're going here to uh, some waypoint over here. So don't worry if it doesn't actually follow the waypoint. You can see there's like this very smooth arc here. 
we're actually going to this waypoint here, KN001, before we actually start turning. Um, I know it doesn't really look right, but don't worry about it. It will start turning soon enough, okay? So remember to keep our throttle on here. We're coming up to 2,000 feet, and we'll only start bringing down our vertical speed once we're actually getting to the point that we're going to start leveling off um, with our vertical speed. Um, so we're just going to stay here at 2,000 feet on this lovely sunset. Uh, we're on clear skies right now because there's actually a storm going on um, if we turn on the live weather. So we're not going to do that. So uh, almost up here, KN001. Um, we can see here, I'll show how to use the heading mode in just one second. I'll show you just this turning now. Okay, so our plane is now actually starting to turn. It's banking here to the left at an angle of about 30 degrees. So you can see it's just banking off here and it's now changed this route here has now become white because the pink route is actually our what like our active leg and the, it's now going to follow to this pink uh, area here which is KN002 I think is our next waypoint. We're leveling out again and there we go just like that. So now I'm sure to use the heading mode so we're at a heading of 169170 somewhere around that. Um, but we're going to turn on the heading mode and we should go to heading of 250 or whatever you've selected. So if I hit heading, we're starting to turn to the left and we'll see that we are going to stop at a heading of 250, which is, if you remember, our um, little heading uh, bug, where it is. We're almost coming up here and we're starting to level back out. Two four zero. It's gonna just hunt a little bit, but it will eventually stable out. And we're almost there. It's not going to be going down to the the degree quickly, but it will eventually. Just give it time, just to do its thing. Um, that looks like it's that's probably going to be as close as it gets. Um but it will keep on trying to and we'll follow that heading very well and it will be you won't actually go off course if you're a couple degrees off uh, just so you know that so that's pretty much all I'll be covering in today's video in the next video I'll be covering ILS approaches so stay tuned for that video and I think that's pretty much it so I hope you enjoyed today's video um, and if you did please remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, other than that I'll see you in the next one Bye-bye.